And now to all the stories. Governor Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN Godwin MFL, has listed the bank's priorities for 2020 to include support for greater economic growth, price stability and low inflation, as well as continued tight monetary policy stance of the bank and establishment of a banker's charitable endowment fund. The CBN governor disclosed this while unveiling the bank's plans for the year 2020 after the 54th Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria's meeting in Lagos. MFLA while delivering the keynote address on the team's strong sustainable growth for the Nigerian economy, announced the establishment of a banker's charitable endowment fund that will fund a major charitable initiative every year starting in 2020. Some of the stakeholders in Nigerian economy who spoke with MITV News on the effect of the border closure applauded the government for taking the bold step as it will save local manufacturers to survive. Another important area we intend to pay close attention to as a result of this headwinds is growing a non oil export base. For a country with close to 200 million people, the emphasis on non-oil exports is due to the potential gains that could be made when human and natural resources across different areas are harnessed in creating new products and services that can be produced at scale and sold to people in various parts of the world. Nations that are able to implement policy measures that support non-oil export growth are likely to make progress in generating multiple streams of foreign exchange earnings. With present uh, border closure, if government can be able to sustain it, we are in the process of uh, putting an investment of $1.5 billion to make sure that uh, we are producing uh, iron, uh, steel from the local steel, iron home with 100% locally raw materials. So we plead to the federal government of Nigeria or all decision making to take the privilege of what happened now by saving Nigeria, making all our use to get an employment, uh, 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 getting an employment. Because if border closure can be able to uh, continue, at least the, those uh, over 20,000 workers who want to lay up to the labor market, we are stopping it because all what we are having in our warehouse that be a major concern for us to say. The ongoing border closure could not have come at a better time. You know, this is a very, very bold step, right but something now, which is very important to take. This um, is very important for the country as a whole because this will support local consumption, local production.